everyone good day so for today's video I'm going to share with you about the communication and globalization specifically the characteristics of globalization the advantages of globalization and the effects of globalization in language use and communication did you know that there are nine characteristics of globalization? First is the free trade. Second one is liberalization. The third one is connectivity. Fourth is the economic globalization. Fifth one is cultural globalization. And the sixth is political globalization. The seventh one is the opportunity. The eighth is learning. And lastly is the production of advantage. Here are some advantages of globalization. The first one is developing international trade and companies, increase free trade between nations, increase liquidity of capital allowing investors in developed nations to invest in developing nations. Corporations have greater flexibility to operate across borders. Greater ease and speed of transportation for goods and people. Then, lastly, it increases environmental protection in developed nations. The last thing to discuss with you is about the effects of globalization in language use and communication. When there is globalization, it allows languages and their cultures to spread and dominate on a global scale. It also leads to the extension of other languages and cultures. Language contributes to the formation of culture, such as through vocabulary, greetings, or humor. When you say globalization, it is a social process characterized by the existence of global, economic, political, cultural, linguistic, and environmental interconnections and flows that make the menu of the currently existing borders and boundaries irrelevant. Globalization is readily increasing in today's world. This increase in globalization has many effects on language, both positive and negative. This, these effects on language in turn affect the culture of the language in many ways. When there is no language, there's no globalization and vice versa. So thank you for watching.